Uh, the first one, uh, it pertains also to the second. Um, I went to go see this movie uh, that just came out recently. It was called uh, Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves, something like that. And when I had went to see this movie, it was cool and all, but there was this one scene that really, um, really uh, uh, made an impression on me. And that was um, these thieves were trying to get into this vault, right? This top securest vault in the world and their little fantasy world. And, you know, it had all the guards and all the security. It even had magic protecting the vault and all this stuff. Well, there came a point where all the elites in that world were moving all their money, all their little trinkets and all their like gold. And they all had it concentrated in one place for a time. And it really reminded me of my experience that I had. It was kind of interesting. And they were kind of planning and scheming how they were going to get out this gold, you know, get make away with this gold. And um, what shocked me about it was that out of the box thinking was that uh, one of the ladies, I think uh, she was some kind of like a druid or something, some kind of fantasy creature. Uh, she could change back and forth between uh, animal and uh, physical well, anyways, uh, she said, well, they're expecting things to be taken out of the vault, but they're not expecting things to be taken into the vault. So they, they hid this little portal behind a painting frame. And then they what they did was they just peeled off the picture from the other side of the portal. So that way, once the painting was uh, put inside the vault, as if it was, you know, a very valuable piece or something, they could just step right through right into the vault and take all the all the gold. You know, and I, and I, that really impressed upon me because I was like, that's really out of the box thinking, you know. And so that was my first experience uh, kind of with that idea. And I had this another experience uh, just a couple nights ago. It was um, these boys were around me, uh, like the Golden Guides. It was the boys, just uh, some boys that I knew uh, throughout my life. And they were making something in the kitchen. They were I think they were making pizzas or something like that, but they were cooking something. And I asked them, I said, you know, how's it going with taking over this uh, building here? And they said, well, what we're doing, and I remember when I asked them that question, I had my idea of how it would happen or what it would look like of taking over this building for like, you know, a benefit it was basically the idea. And um, they said, well, here's what we're going to do. We're not going to do it that way. We're going to destroy the place so that way it's they started explaining this literal process so the the property values lowered and they can pay off some kind of foreclosure and then it becomes theirs by law under some tax stuff and you know all this stuff they were explaining it to me but the idea again was that out of the box thinking like uh destroying it or making it kind of crummy so no one wants to be there in the first place and then you can buy it on the cheap and then you just kind of fix it up and whatever but yeah, it had that same impression. It really, I really kind of like stood back because I was like, that's the out of the box thinking. So basically with that, these experiences, um, it kind of shows me, gives me little hints that I need to change up my view. I need to see something else. There's a lot more that I'm not seeing, of course. And I'm trying to apply that out of the box thinking to what we're doing, you know, instead of thinking it's one way or one track kind of thing or having a one track mind, like the saying goes. But I've been getting these little hints for this out of the box thinking. So I'm trying to really change my view. And it's it's a lot uh, more difficult than I guess I imagine. But I'm still trying. You know, of course, I'm still going to try and uh, do it because I, I can see that there's a solution. I just I have to learn to see it, of course. And so so I'm I'm really trying to apply this out of the box thinking. So. Yeah, Jeremy, that's the idea. I see that as we started this. And so, uh, again, <clears throat> that's where the suggestions come up. But, uh, uh, you know, as they're telling you that, it's not in the literal sense. What it is is, is that uh, they're going to make it appear a particular way. All right. So that, you know, for the most part, they're not interested. This is what they do with me lots of times on the real side. They make me look like I'm nothing. So people aren't interested. They just, whatever, uh, you know, it just depends. And it's actually a protection. So um, when you're thinking in terms of out of the box thinking, you're still thinking. You see? 
So again, the answer is in the silence to recognize it. So what you do basically is you just set all the thinking aside. Again, all the considerations that you think are it or out of the box or whatever. It's not about any of that. Look at the sun shining. What you do is you learn to see what shows up. That's where life shows you. So you already know what you know. So all you have to do is just like set that aside. And it's not about trying. It's about letting go. You don't do anything. You simply learn to see what makes sense. And it will show up. And just like the bonds, well, I've gone through so many people, met people around the world because of the bonds. And at the same time, uh, they come and go. They say they're this or that or they're fake or we can't do these or what. Well, it doesn't matter. I just let it go. Because, you know, what funny thing is always another wave of them shows up because Paul and Rebus are bring them forward. See, remember, they're the parents. They want to do this for us. Life wants to do it. All we have to do is stop that. So as you're thinking about thinking out of the box, you're still thinking. You see? Let it all go. Put the books on the shelf. Be the air. Be this be and see the sun shining. The air is aware. Just be the air. Don't consider anything. You already know that. You already know what you need to consider. So again, you have the answer. But you keep thinking in a certain way and etc. And that's not it. And so that's what they're showing you also. So they're showing you that there are other ways to do it. But you see, you saw the movie. That's a hint. Yes, they're they're doing it a different way. Well, really, in the movie, it's duh. They're they're just they're, they think they're clever. See, these are these are the elites and whatever. They think, oh, we'll do it a different way because we're clever. We're smarter than the rest of the people. See, that's what they're thinking. And so as someone in their little band of uh, bandits comes up with an idea, it's like, oh, gee, you know, such and such. He, he's the smart or she's the smart one because she always figures these things. But all they do is entrap themselves. It's not really thinking out of the box. It just simply appears as just simply a different way of doing the same duh thing. But the reality of life is, let life show you. Just let it all go. That's the real silence. That's where the answer is. And just learning to see and recognize the silence. And then it will come to you. Yes, you'll see it. And it's like telepathy, only you'll see it. You'll you'll have this impression. See? And so, again, all these things that have come up with me with the bonds over the years, lots of times I didn't do anything. Somebody calls me, hey, Duane, we got some here, blah, blah, blah. And then from that person, it springboards. And from that person, it springboards. I just watch it. It springboards. And you know what? I just let it go. And these people are all stressed. Oh, we're really close. You know, we get the money. And oh, this guy didn't do his thing. And oh, my gosh. And I tell these people, uh, and a lot of them good people, I say, you know, just relax. You got to go through the steps. You got to go through the steps, especially with this, because you're dealing with others. OK, so you already know you have agreement. They see what we're doing. They see the implosion that's taking place. It's going to sometimes going to take time or whatever, but they see what's going on and they don't want to they don't want to be in darkness. I mean, they're not going to have any fun in darkness. Because, see, everybody's just playing here. This is the big play yard. And they're not going to be able to play because they're going to be in blackness. So we're the only ones that are providing the real light, the real insight to the real light. You see, first they get the secondary light, which is the info, and then progress from there and earn their way. So the answer is in the silence. It's the isness. Same thing. Is he is. It already is. Learn to see it. And you don't have to think about it. Okay? So, there is no box. That's just a, an, a, that's just a, a saying that's made up. Oh, you're thinking outside the box. 
Well, it's so funny when people say that they're still in the box. They're just seeing it a different way in their own box. That's all. But in this world, because people are one dimensional and have a little tiny awareness and they have no idea what life is, no, no way at all. They think, oh, this this person's a genius like Einstein or whatever, Tesla, whatever. Oh, they're geniuses. All Tesla did is discover what already exists. That's all. And he said that I'm a discoverer, which is cool. So people think, oh, this man is blah, 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 blah. We're all in it. Just learn to see it. Tesla could see it. He didn't do uh, he didn't do prototypes and whatever. He could see it. He put it together. That's how I did my job. I didn't even usually have a building list. I would just see it. I would see the job. I didn't have plans. I just put it together because I could see it. Yeah. Same idea. Anybody could do that. So here is your opportunity to learn to see it. It already is. The connection, everything is there. Learn to see it. But you see, your mind is thinking a particular way. Well, I know this. I know how to turn on my computer. I know how to type and all these things. Yeah, you already know that. And they're all sitting here. They're watching you doing all this funny stuff. But again, you're thinking in a particular way. And you keep thinking. See, you keep adding ideas, thinking that, oh, if I think this, this thinking over here, well, you know, it'll work in some way or whatever. See, it's, it's all that thinking. You just keep thinking. And that's how we've been taught. We've been taught to be literal. I keep saying this. And it's all made up. The languages, everything's all made up. There's no history or anything. It's all made up. It's all make believe. Relationships, whatever, it's all make believe. With the sun shining. So you learn to see it. Yeah. And things will start coming to you. And they'll make sense. You'll see something. Yes. From the invisible. Because it's invisible. And then you provide the action and the doing to make it into something physical. Like all of a sudden you realize, hey, all I need is an extension cord from my wall socket to my TV set because my TV set only has a two foot cord and I want it on the other side of the room. And it's like all of a sudden you see it. It's like, wow, I see that all I need is an extension cord and I can hook it up. That's it. Da, 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 da. Anything else, Jeremy? Uh, no, that's it. Thank you, though. And thank everybody for uh, listening. Yeah, it's not rocket science. And the uh, guides is so simple. It's giggly. It's like the sun shining. But we've been used to, oh, the prophets and the ancient wisdom and all this stuff. We've been buried in nonsense thinking that oh it has to be some great secret or we're, we're we want to find the holy grail you know and then there will be miracles and whatever you know you watch indiana jones movies and all that it's all fun but it's all hocus pocus it's a magician on stage and it's right there the sun shining yeah so let's get on with the adventure let's just get it done <laughs>